Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Robin Zimmerman. I would like to thank Jessa Jeremiah for filling in for me last week. Uh, as you know, I was in Honduras on a mission trip that was absolutely life-changing. It's good to be back in Hilton Head. Our first guest on Talk of the Town is no stranger to our show, Robin Swift. She is the Vice President for Marketing and Development at the Coastal Discovery Museum. Good morning. We Welcome back. The, we, we got, got the memo, on. the run memo. <laughs> it's good to be back. How are you doing? Doing you great. Doing well? Just we're getting ready for spring. I know. And we've got a really interesting event that's a first time for you all. It's called uh, Night at the Museum. Discovery, Discovery Night at the Museum. Right, so share with us. We're going to start it in March. And you know, so many people say, well, you don't do things after hours, and I work. So we thought, okay, what can we do? So our, our curator of programming put together a Thursday night event, and we're going to do it March, April, and May. Okay. And different topics. We're going to kick off um, March 3rd with Star Night. And we have some local Sky Rangers, some people that are certified that will come out there. We'll do a little indoor program, then go out and look at the different things, the winter hexagon and everything. And if you- New constellation? Are you talking oh, about that? Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, and if you cool. have never been out to the Coastal Discovery Museum at night, there's no lights in the field, right, and right. all you see is the beautiful moon and the stars. It's gorgeous. Love it. And so it'll be from 6 to 8 that Thursday night, okay. um, and it's a lot of fun because you learn a lot. You know, we all think, oh, where's the Big Dipper? But it's a great opportunity. So that's our first one, and we're excited about and it. And so they'll be explaining what you're, yes, what you're seeing, yes, which, yeah, that's yes. wonderful. And, and they'll do a, bit, a little bit inside so yeah. they know what to be looking Look at, which is always important. Okay, that's the third. That's, what, that's the third. Of, and then March 10th, we're going to have one, and, and you and I were talking ahead of time, the community Amelia Garden is absolutely yes. gorgeous right now. People keep coming through. Um, and so what we're going to do, we're going to learn about the camellias, walk to the camellia garden. Each participant will be allowed, they will be helped with our horticulturists, <laughs> to cut a camellia okay. and we'll be wax dipping them. And so it's the art of flower waxing. We'll go back into the lab and do that to preserve your camellia so you can keep it for a while. So it's not like in the old days where you took wax paper and put no, the leaves. No. You'll actually be be protecting yes, and preserving yes. the and it'll flower. And it'll just buy a little time for it and live a little oh, bit really? longer. Okay. But isn't it fun? Yes. Something different. So that's the 10th. That's the 10th. So we want to do art kind of things is primarily what it is. And then we're bringing in an artist at the end of the month, the 24th, and it's called Jellyfish Painting. <laughs> and she's going to have, um, you'll, you'll have your canvas, I want to say it's 10 by 14, and you'll learn how to blend colors and do different things like that. And, and it, they all come out looking like jellyfish. Oh, you know, wow. it's, it's a fun, fun effect. For families or is it just adults? Well, you know, some of them are. The jellyfish one, we're asking for people seven and older, no okay. children under seven. And seven's yeah. a good age. Yeah, they're, right. they're starting to do that kind of stuff. And then we'll be doing horseshoe crabs two times in the spring and learning about them. We have a lot of horseshoe crabs in our lab because that's a program we do with the teachers and set up horseshoe right. crab tanks. So we want people to understand the importance of them. So when they're spawning, we gather eggs and we have different tanks in our lab. Some will say the horseshoe crabs are two years old. Some will say they're six years old. Okay. You know, they get minuscule bigger. So they'll they're see- that little? Oh. You have to look for the eggs when we first get them. And then when they're two years older, you're like, well, okay. But they'll, they'll learn about them, see how they eat and how important they are. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's, Neat. you know, that's, that's a fun, fun program with the horseshoe crabs. Okay. We're doing washi tape creations, which is, you know, made out of rice paper and you'll create washi different tape? things. Mm -hmm. Washi. Mm -hmm. Oh, so W-A-S-H-I, washi. Oh, not washi. Yeah, <laughs> right. And then, okay. um, then we'll be doing twice in the spring indigo exploration so right. you'll you'll learn you'll meet eliza pinckney and what her role was here um in south carolina I it was the that. largest cash crop there was and then part of the program is we'll give you a t-shirt and you will actually tie dye a t-shirt using the indigo so it's Neat. it's fun things at night if um, what we say on a couple of them where it's just adults only, if women want to bring a bottle of wine and enjoy some wine with friends <laughs> while they take the class, they can. Okay. We just want to make it fun and something that you as a family can come or you with right. some girlfriends want to come and just do. Just very informal. Exactly. Fun. Exactly. We do have about 30 seconds left this Saturday, which is the 19th yes. of February, the Gala. Yes, it's part of Gala Celebration, and it's their Art, Food, and Craft Festival. It will be at the Coastal Discovery Museum from 11 to 5, Lots of great food vendors and craft vendors. So we hope everybody will come join us. Robin, thanks for being Thank with you. us again. Always great information from the Coastal Discovery Museum. And we'll be right back.